let's take up stacks today let's first of all try to understand what stacks are the concept followed by stack is lifo lifo is last in first out right now this means that whatever element is inserted last that will be removed first right so like a stack implementation is uh, something like this supposing i have this right here this is my stack right and this is the first element of a stack right like you can um, take the example of something like stack of plates right so when you have a stack of plates one plate is put on top of the other now the last plate that is put on the top that is the first one to be removed right so that is the concept of lifo which is last in first out so here supposing this is the first element right after that another element is inserted here and then here like this it goes on right this is the stack supposing i say this is this one is called the top of the stack top of the stack and the insertion in a stack is called pushing and deletion in a stack is called popping right push and pop right these are the two operations to be performed in a stack stacks can be implemented as an array and also as a link list right so first of all we will learn how to implement the concept of stack as an array now see uh, this if you take it as a array this subscript is zero this is the array subscript it goes like this the normal uh, arrays you have right okay hmm. when the array is empty then the subscript is minus 1 okay and this is the top of the stack that is the size of the array right okay hmm. so if i have an element here supposing let's say i have 34 here and uh, 24 14 109 89 72 and let's say some other number here 346 right now when i push the elements into the stack it will be from the 0 1 2 3 4 like this so this is 4 5 6 and 7 when i start the popping out of the elements the first element to be popped out will be 34 and then 24 then 14 you can't take out any elements in between it has to be in that order only right first of all let's see <clears throat> the implementation of uh, stack as an array right i'll write down the program and from that we will try to understand
this is the prototype for the push method in which we are going to push the elements into the stack right and the prototype for uh, the display function first of all let's learn how to push elements into a stack right push elements into a stack as an array right okay hmm. fine now see now you take a um, size for your uh, array you take it as 20 or whatever you want right then you have the main method in the main method you take uh, one stack right that is an array the array the name of the array is stack one let's say and here you have taken the size so that 20 will come right and then you take int item right top is equal to minus 1 and result right top is basically the top of the stack if I take top as minus 1 it means that there is nothing in the array as such it is empty right ok hmm. care ch is equal to y then you write while choice is equal to equal to y out enter item to be pushed right to be pushed into the stack right here you write c in this is item whatever you want to insert that is taken into the uh, variable item right <coughs> Okay, now I call this function push inside this we pass this array stack 1 the top and then the item. Now you see here the prototype which I have written here this prototype two values two arguments are being passed by ref, uh, value and one is passed by reference. The variable that is passed by reference is this top okay now I'm going this is the function call here now I'm going to write the function see the push function the return type is int right here you have int stack 1 int ampersand top because it is passed by reference right and int item okay hmm. <clears throat> if top is equal to equal to size minus 1 now what is the size of this array the size of this array is 20 right that is the maximum size so it uh, since it is an array it starts from 0 to 19 the subscripting is 0 to 19 so we check if top is equal to equal to size minus 1 means if top is equal to equal to 19 in that case it means the array is full <clears throat> right so we say return minus 1 right if it is not full in that case what do you do you say top plus plus so the value of top is incremented by 1 and we say stack 1 top is equal to item okay and then here we write return 0 okay this is the function and the display function I will come to that later first of all let's see this I have a, a stack like this this is the array right initially the value of top was equal to minus 1 right now when I pass this the, the stack is empty as of now top is equal to minus 1 that's what we had taken right okay hmm. So the first condition if top is equal to equal to size minus 1 in our case the size is equal to 20 so 20 minus 1 19 if top is equal to equal to 19 top is equal to minus 1 sorry top is equal to <coughs> minus 1 
so it is this condition is false so we will come to the else part in the else part we write top plus plus see initially you had top is equal to minus 1 right so here when you say top plus plus top becomes equal to minus 1 plus 1 so that becomes equal to 0 right so the value of top becomes equal to 0 so when you say stack 1 top that means you are saying stack 1 0 right stack 1 is the name of the array and here you are putting stack 1 0 is equal to right whatever item you have right so the user supposing the user had inserted the item here here we are saying c in item See in item the user has to enter an integer value. Suppose the user had given an integer value let's say 34 or something. That 34 now comes into this. The 0th element. Okay. Hmm? Here. And return 0. Back to the function. 0 comes into this res. If supposing the stack is full in that case minus 1 is returned to this minus 1 is returned to res so basically res gets two either of these two values either it will get a minus 1 or it will get a 0 if it gets a minus 1 it means the pushing into the stack is not possible because the stack is already full and if it gets a 0 that means the push operation has already been done into the stack right now go back to the main method here now check what is the value of res if res is equal to equal to minus 1 that means the stack is full right so you can write pushing not possible push operation not possible okay overflow you can put it like this right see out end in, and after this we can exit because this is unsuccessful right now after that I write see out if you want to display the stack the stack now is there is a display function the prototype of the display function which you have given in that you pass the stack that is the array and the top of the stack whatever is the value of top right <coughs> see out uh, okay here uh, one more thing is we pass this top by reference over here right so basically this stop is incremented to 0 here so next time when it I mean when it returns to the main function the value 0 is returned here right again if you are pushing an element in that case the value of top becomes equal to 1 and the same 1 is reflected back in the main function because because we are using passing by reference the display function is a simple one this is a, a void display here you have int stack 1 let's say and int top here top is not passed by reference this is a normal uh, passing by value right see out stack top whatever is the value of uh, top so supposing top is 10 it will print see out stack 10 right okay whatever is the value there and uh, this is the first or uh, I mean you can start with a loop also initially or otherwise the first element is printed in fact uh, we can do like this for int i is equal to top i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus this is the loop right and here you write c out stack 1 that is the name of the array and i that's it c 
layout end in. This will do the display of the stack, right? After displaying the stack, we go back to the main function. The user is asked, do we want to insert more elements? See out. Do you want to continue? Do you want to continue? The user enters the choice. Whatever variable we had taken for that, ch, right? Okay. And then we close the loop. If the choice is equal to equal to y, again, new node or the new uh, element is pushed into the stack and the process will continue. So this is how we do insertion in a stack and this is an implementation as an array, right? So with that, I come to the end of this session.